Isn't it amazing what can be accomplished in 365 days of working to preserve, restore, create, and engage within our communities? We are thrilled to feature some of our 2015 accomplishments and recognize our staff, volunteers, partners, and the generous support of our member municipalities. It was a very busy year for TRCA staff in the nine watersheds in our jurisdiction. The Mouth of the Dawn Naturalization and Portland's Flood Protection Projects Environmental Assessment was approved by the Ministry of the Environment and Climate Change. The Humber Watershed partnered with Friends of the Pan Am Path to feature arts events during the Games. The City of Brampton committed $930,000 for a new trail link to Etobicoke Creek. The 22nd annual Manulife Paddle of Dawn raised more than $100,000 for Dawn River watershed projects. Special events like Rouge Days, the Peel Children's Water Festival, the Heart Lake Dragon Boat Festival, and See the Salmon Run Festival at Highland Creek brought communities together from across our nine watersheds. A sold out crowd of academics and public and private sector representatives attended the third annual research symposium hosted by the Ontario Climate Consortium. The reimagining of underused land for wildflower meadows in the Gatineau Hydro Corridor proved how creativity can breathe life into communities. Protecting communities and raising awareness on flood preparedness and source water quality was the focus of the Water Risk Management Team's 2015 work. TRCA's Flood Management Team, with the Provincial Flood Forecasting Committee, made presentations to public sector partners about advancements in forecasting of flood risk. More than 560 participants attended the fourth annual TRIACA conference in partnership with Credit Valley Conservation. All 22 source protection plans, including those of TRCA, Credit Valley Conservation, and Central Lake Ontario Conservation Authority were approved by the province of Ontario. 10 homes devastated by the powerful storm event of July 2013 had their properties restored on Riverhead Drive in Etobicoke. This massive project showcased TRCA's expertise in erosion restoration. 2015 was a particularly busy year for our regional biodiversity team. This past year, TRCA's monitoring team collected over 170,000 biodiversity records and monitored 152 kilometers of roads and trails. More than 50 species of amphibians, turtles, and mammals were observed at stream crossing locations. Eager anglers can now go after their next big catch, thanks to a new fishing platform constructed at the Leslie Spit. Birds will have more places to roost, thanks to $50,000 from Environment Canada for wildlife nesting structures and nesting boxes. Some welcome signs that the health of our forests is improving came this year when bald eagles and fishers were spotted on TRCA land. TRCA's Restoration Services Center's photovoltaic system generated more than 56 megawatt hours of electricity. Preserving land for the enjoyment of all remained a focus of TRCA's land securement and management team. In 2015, Ross and Lorna Milne donated the William Dennison Forest Preserve to TRCA a 50-acre parcel of land in Caledon. Mountain bikers celebrated the opening of 13 kilometers of new trails built in partnership with the Durham Mountain Biking Association. The Ontario Archaeological Society presented an award for excellence in cultural resource management for TRCA's deep commitment to the preservation of cultural heritage for over 50 years. The Region of Peel, Credit Valley Conservation and TRCA received the 2015 Natural Heritage Award for the Lakeview Waterfront Connection Plans. Engaging the public in as many ways as possible was a significant focus this year for our tourism and recreation team. In 2015, a $36,000 Museum's Assistance Program grant was secured for Black Creek Pioneer Village to upgrade the Artifact Collections Database. The exhibit, Sporting Canadians, 150 Years of Sports Fashion, was launched to coincide with the Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games. The Olympic-rated BMX Park at Bruce's Mill Conservation Area opened with $150,000 of funding assistance. An adventure tourism partnership was launched with Credit Valley Conservation, the Greenbelt Foundation, and Central Counties Tourism. Over 150 people attended a spirited affair, Black Creek Pioneer Village's annual fundraiser, and enjoyed a celebration of food, drink, and fashion. 
It was another year of milestones for our planning and development review team. TRCA received the Award of Excellence from the Ontario Professional Planners Institute for the Living City Policies for Planning and Development in the watersheds of the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. TRCA worked in partnership with Seton Developers to prepare a comprehensive sediment and erosion control strategy. As well, the group committed to fund nearly $1.6 million to the Watershed Monitoring Program. Staff co-led a tour of the Oak Ridges Moraine and Greenbelt, highlighting success stories in the Happy Valley Forest. Connecting children, youth and adults to the wonder of our natural world remained a focus for our education and outreach team. In 2015, Swan Lake Outdoor Education Centre opened with York Region District School Board now running programs there. Environmental Leaders of Tomorrow program received an award for being one of the top 15 projects from the Clean 50 Summit for 2015. 400 people attended the second annual open house at Bolton Camp. The event showcased the cabin and trail restoration work of the students employed in the Student Summer Employment Program. TRCA's first high school student conference on the Great Lakes was held in May at the Harbourfront Centre and Tommy Thompson Park. A record 700 campers took part in themed camps at Courtright. Our Sustainable Communities team celebrated a number of successes in 2015. Here are just a few of them. $185,000 was funded from the Weston Family Parks Challenge and Trillium Foundation for Black Creek SNAP, as well as $90,000 from the local food grants. Phase 1 of the San Romano Way Outdoor Revitalization Project was implemented, including a 63-plot garden and Toronto's largest urban orchard, supported with rainwater harvesting. The Stewardship and Outreach Team held various community events across our jurisdiction with over 10,000 participants in total. Partners in Project Green held a successful spring networking event with 250 representatives from the business community attending. Partners in Project Green's largest electric vehicle charging station installation is underway with 24 charging points. Richmond Hill and Markham have made our ash tree recovery pilots successful with creative solutions in the wake of the devastation caused by the emerald ash borer. TRCA's Restoration Services Centre received a Building Performance Award in Civic Action's Race to Reduce program. Building on the successes of past years, the Living City Foundation celebrated a number of milestones in 2015. The Living City Foundation once again partnered with TD Friends of the Environment Foundation in the Look After Where You Live program. Volunteers help native trees and shrubs take root and protect wildlife habitats. More than $170,000 was raised at the Living City Dinner for conservation projects within our nine watersheds. There are so many more stories to tell from 2015, and this video is a snapshot of some of the work we do. All of our accomplishments are a result of dedicated support from the members of our board, the inspiration that our partners provide, and the passion that drives our staff and volunteers. And from all of us... Thank you.